Hey guys, in a kind of a continuation of yesterday, uh, let me ask you this question. What's worse than seeing a ghost? Well, there is something that is actually far more terrifying and devastating than seeing a ghost could ever be. And I'm sure that everyone has heard this age-old church joke where a rich man died and he wanted to be uh, to, so badly to bring his riches to heaven that when he got to the gate, he said to the gatekeeper, and we often refer to the gatekeeper as St. Peter in, in these kinds of stories, and he said that he would only go in if he could bring his riches in with him. To which St. Peter said, well, show me what you want to bring in. And the rich man proudly pulled from his backpack many gold bricks that he had exchanged for his earthly possessions prior to his death, because he knew that you can't bring large houses and, and big boats and fancy cars. Uh, you can't transport those things to heaven. But gold bricks, he figured, could easily fit into his backpack. And he could still have all those most valued riches as he lived out his eternity in heaven. Uh, to which St. Peter looked curiously at those shiny and, and large gold bricks and and he said to him, he said, uh, okay, I guess you can bring them in, but what are you going to do with those old and dirty paving stones anyhow? <laughs> you see, not to devalue all of our possessions, but Revelations 21.21 21 says that the streets of the new Jerusalem in heaven will be of a perfect and purest gold ever and you're just going to walk on them. <laughs> the most expensive things that you have will have no monetary value anymore. And we looked yesterday at the, at the ghost handwriting on the wall that King Belshazzar experienced in Daniel chapter 5. But I want us to go back and see what it was that led to the, the whole uh, ghostly handwriting in Daniel 5. And it came from this. We read it yesterday, but I'm going to show you again. Daniel chapter 5 verse 4 says this. As they were partying and drank the wine, they praised the gods of gold and silver, of bronze and iron and wood and stone. Uh oh what caused all this? Worshipping the gods of gold and silver, bronze, and the other items. Belshazzar and his cronies are there having a party, and they're bragging about and thinking about all of their great possessions. And you, you and I know what it's like when you go somewhere and you feel that you, you have to keep up with the Joneses, right, in order to, well, either to fit in, or to make yourself feel like you're something special, and you begin to brag on all the stuff that you have. And Belshazzar, he was the king of doing that. No, no pun intended. His possessions meant so doggone much to him that he worshipped them as though they were gods. In fact, they invented gods that represented all of these possessions just so that they could literally worship them. Now, I get it. This isn't Babylon and we're not the kings. This is America. And we don't actually hold church services to the gods of gold, silver, and bronze. Although, I have noticed this trend that I see more posts on social media about people's love of beer and wine, or their love of sports, or how great their job success is, or how wonderful their vacation is, than I do see posts about how great their God is. So maybe our temples aren't made of stone. Our temples are made of thoughts. And maybe those thoughts demonstrate what we really, really value. 
But, but not our boy Daniel. <laughs> In fact, when the king told everyone that he would lavish tons of riches on whoever could read the handwriting on the wall, Daniel had this response in verse 17. Daniel answered the king. He said, hey king, you can keep your gifts for yourself and you can give your rewards to somebody else. Nevertheless, I'll read the writing for the king, and I'll tell you exactly what it means. Uh, Daniel didn't care about riches and stuff. It, to him, it wasn't even in the realm of, of worthy as much uh, of worship as uh, God was. Or should I say, it wasn't worthy of his thoughts <laughs> as much as his God was worthy of his thoughts. You know why? <laughs> because Daniel knew. What was worse than seeing a ghost? And you know what that is? Treasuring riches. The effects of treasuring riches was actually what caused Belshazzar to see a ghost in the first place. And the craziest thing is that these supposed treasures are really worth peanuts when compared to the value of God. You know, the God that we really should be worshiping instead. So let's ask ourselves today, what do we really worship by our thoughts and by our actions? For treasuring stuff is really just a ghostly exercise. But treasuring God with our thoughts and with our actions, will produce true riches. That even perfect golden paving bricks would be jealous of. Think on that one today. We'll see you tomorrow.